Mount Popcatepetl and Ecstasy Quattle on the outskirts of Mexico City are home to some of South America's most colorful wildlife. Many exotic creatures live and feed on the Zacatan undergrowth that covers the slopes of the mountains. Hey, I thought he was supposed to be dormant. Not entirely. There's an interesting story behind it all. According to the ancient Aztec legend, Popcatepetl was a brave warrior in love with Ecstasyquatl, the emperor's daughter. When he returned from war to find her dead of grief, he built a mountain to house her body, then stood guard over her for all eternity, holding a funeral torch aloft to protect his lady love and all the creatures who live on the mountain slopes. Oh, that's so nice. I wish someone felt that way about me. The locals have a superstition that any disturbance of her slumbers will bring his revenge. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, I knew it! My volcanic activity scanner was right, huh? Increased movement to the base of old Popo. <laughs> you mean he's going to blow his top? Highly unlikely. But I want you to go there and get a more specific reading from my seismographic uh, thingy. Mm. Mexico, here we come! <laughs> I'll make a fracas with my maracas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexico is a premier tourist attraction. What I am uh, offering uh, you uh. is the investment of a lifetime. <gasps> Ratasihuatl City, nestling on the slopes of Mount Ixtasihuatl, overlooking Mexico City. The most audacious business scheme since the times of Aristotle. <laughs> hey, hey uh, isn't that going back a bit? I meant Onassis. It's gonna have everything. Shopping malls, restaurants, trattorias, hotels, casinos, its own cinemas, its own transportation system, its own newspaper, and most importantly, its very own football stadium. Already under construction with planning permission for further development subject to funding, the centerpiece of the city with seating for 40,000 fans. It'll be the big draw that brings the whole family in. And who exactly is gonna play there? Our very own team, the Rattasi Huatl All-Stars, Ratadonna, Raza, Raggy, the Creme de la Creme. But how are you gonna create a new team overnight? Simple. I got the stadium, you got the finance. We go to all the top teams in the world and make them a really, really good offer. <laughs> yeah, but who will they play against? Yeah, you just can't go straight into the first division. No, with money, you can do anything. Outrageous! It's a shameless stitch-up. It's downright dastardly. It's the most evil, exploitative, profiteering, racketeering, downright low-down, dirty scheme I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> but is the mountain safe to build on? Safe as houses. Mount Popcatapetl hasn't exploded in years. It's extinct. The football season kicks off in two weeks' time. 
Well, what are we waiting for? Time is money, gentlemen. We'd better have a look at the stadium as soon as possible. How about the day after tomorrow? about it. I want it ready in time. Bring in extra machines and men. I don't care who you get to do it, just do it, okay? Clear the whole area of Zakaton so it can't be used for anything else. And get that stadium finished, or they'll be using your head to kick off the first match. <laughs> <laughs> I want you all nice and clean before bed. Ah! Oh! The Bush Telegraph. We all know what that means, don't we? I call it the battles things, weasels, bobcats, coyotes, fox, reds with guns. That was a small seismographic hiccup. Nothing to worry about, unless you believe in the legend. <laughs> I guess he's still mad at the world. And here's the reason why. Look! Serious. You better go and check it out. Strange place for a soccer stadium. They're wantonly destroying most of the hillside. It must be part of a bigger scheme. There won't be any wildlife left on Twin Peaks at this rate. Get to work, team, and find out who's behind all this. I'm getting out of here before Popo goes pop! Three football tickets! Three football tickets! Come and wake in the stadium! Three uh, tickets! How come the boss is giving away free tickets? It's not like him. Hello? Anyone in there? Of course he's not. It's a trick. <laughs> hey, boss! You promised to let me have a go with that.
They don't look safe. Neither do those teeth. Neither do those teeth. Look! <laughs> right by us. Can we have another story, Mom? That's not the Bush Telegraph. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Follow me. Oh no, we've lost them. Oh Juan, I am so very frightened. Don't worry, this big one will look after you. Remember, I'm cold and bushwise. Look, a gopher hole. There. Well, you must remember, Mama told us never to. Oh. Cement dust gets everywhere. We... we thought you were... George is the name, borrowing the game. When it comes to tunnels, I really go for it. Get it? <laughs> go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that joke wasn't that bad. We're lost. We got separated from our family. Oh, I'll get you out of here. I know these are tunnels like the back of my paw. Ah, who's that? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Follow me. Not too far now. Just around the next. What's this? Concrete from the building works above seeps into the tunnel sometimes. Oh, how terrible for you. Well, I'm hardened to it now. How are we going to get out? It's no use. We're trapped. Don't panic, sis. There's bound to be another way out of here. Sure thing. They don't call me Georges the Gorge for nothing. Buddy. Don't uh, mention whoa. it, sir. These bunny buddies just saved my bacon. Are you okay? What's wrong? We just got separated from our families. A big monster ate our home, and we were scattered. Then we got lost in all the tunnels under the mountains. It's not a monster. It's a machine. It's the people behind this who are the uh, monsters. We'll help you find your family. Dalian, you sneak back in there disguised as a peasant worker and see what you can find out. The stadium will be ready for your visitors tomorrow. Yes, we're clearing the whole area so nothing can live or grow there. Yes, we got the fake tickets made up. Peasants swallowed it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> well, look at 
what the cat has dragged in. You made a big mistake. You bunch of monsters! You let me go! Mr. Ratalioni, sir, we got ourselves a female bamboo rat. It's those pesky bamboo bears again. Listen, if this deal goes wrong, I'll be very, very upset. Get rid of her and make it look like an accident. Behind all this, Red Leone. Who else? Are we gonna let this evil swine destroy our home just to make a fast buck? Yeah. I don't think so. But what are we gonna do? Yeah, we have no K, no II, no contact with no how. Yeah, but we got one Jerry Bell Stadium, millions of underground tunnels, a volcanic tremor or two, a massive local superstition, and one thumping good plan. <laughs> Enough to score an own goal for Red Leone? Yeah! They're here. Quick. Everyone get out of there. Ready when you are, boss. Gentlemen, how good of you to come. Welcome to Rattisee Wattle City Stadium, robbing heart of the entertainment mecca of the West. <laughs> but your boss said it was finished. But for one or two last minute touches. <laughs> Some of the people were telling us about a local legend. Yeah, something about the revenge of Puffa Paddle. Volcano tremors, smoke signals, superstitious nonsense. Are you sure it's safe here? Safe as hell. Yellow belly! 
problem left now. Looking for something? <laughs> uh, we don't like being made fools of, Mr. Battaglione, so we thought we'd make a fool of you. We thought seismographic equipment might be a better investment. The deal is not only off, it's extinct, unlike the mountain you said was safe. News has just come in of a mysterious minor earthquake just outside Mexico City on the slopes of Twin Peaks. The area of damage is very small and there are no casualties. Although the Ratichihuati football stadium, the first phase of an ambitious development scheme, was completely destroyed. I am a very reasonable rat. But right now, I am very, very, very upset. So long, sir. Thanks for everything. You helped yourselves, amigo. 